All right, everybody, this is it, the last video in our little tutorial series here, and perhaps one of the most important. You're going to get something out of this one that uh, you could spend hours on the Internet trying to find. Okay, we're going to post some JSON to the server with our app, and then we're going to simulate a login. Okay, how are we going to do that? First thing, we're going to have to modify our PHP script to receive that JSON. We're going to go back to our we're going to go back to our app and we're going to create a JSON object uh, in this login activity and that's allow us to send the JSON uh, to our PHP script through a post. We're going to quickly test the app. And we're going to go back and we're going to modify that script to simulate the login and then we're going to wrap it up. Okay, one of the things that's probably the biggest find in this is finding out is understanding to use this PHP wrapper. And wrapper not as in music wrapper but as in IO wrapper so what's going to happen here is this 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 PHP wrapper allows us to grab the input stream okay so it's going to grab that JSON object that we're sending and it's going to allow us to utilize that uh, in our server and then make some decisions on login so okay let's go back here so we're going to do this Okay, so here's what here's the deal on this. Okay, I've taken our simple little script that uh, we were using before, and I've added a few things. Firstly, I've added a um, a, ver a global variable, a server variable to say, okay, is this a post method? That's just kind of a little safety check here. And then we're going to use this file get contents, which is a PHP goodie and usually use that to grab uh, files from your server like you're going to read a text file or a log file or something but we're going to put in in the argument we're going to put in this wrapper and so this wrapper is going to grab that json output that we're sending from the from the app it's going to decode it and then what we have is an array of variables and so then we're going to say okay we're going to we're going to take those array of variables and we're going to send them right back to the server or right back to our app and echo them back out okay so nothing big deal we're just gonna check make sure everything's working here so the next thing we gotta do is that we're gonna go back to and we're gonna create this JSON op object in our activity to send with a post so let's go do that okay not much is going to change here um, but we are going to create a post method and we're gonna add some other goodies here so I'm going to copy as we did in the past this method and I'm gonna paste it and we're gonna modify it a little bit so now we're gonna post post JSON object uh, much the same much the same we're going to post here okay and now we're gonna discover what this null is used for a null is really what is a, is a placeholder here that we're going to pass that JSON object in so it can be read by that uh, by our, our script on the server and uh, use that wrapper back there to, to, to uh, decode our JSON. Okay, I ran off to my clipboard and grabbed a, a little bit of code that we're going to paste in here so I don't have to retype it and we'll talk about it. Um, I'm going to create a JSON object right here. I'm gonna call it params, and you know this is this is like creating uh, an array of post variables, uh, and we're gonna send that off. But the the, the uh, JSON object request is gonna make turn that into basically a, a piece of J a JSON, and then send that to our script. And so we have keywords of username and password. And uh, if you were to just start typing this in here, you know, uh, Android Studio would say, you know, you got to put a try and catch around this and uh, to try to keep everybody happy. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, object and we're going to put it in this null. Okay, null was just the placeholder uh, that was waiting for um, some parameters to be sent to it. Okay, so the, the JSON object will wrap this all up and then send it off to. Um, our script. Uh, last thing we want to do before uh, checking out our script here is that we want to change this uh, method that we're going to use and also um, let's see I name, renamed this uh, this here what would, I, what would I call this let me just take a quick peek here so I don't forget 
I called this receive JSON. Okay, so receive JSON is the new script that I have on my server. Okay, let's uh, JSON. Okay, so uh, we are in a position to um, give this a quick test. Okay, off we go into the wild. Let's hope that we have uh, some kapla with this one. And uh, while we're waiting for this thing to ante up, this is going to be cool. I hope this works. And let's give it a try. And ah, success! Kapla! So, what has happened here is that we've sent. Uh, our username and password off and let's let's give it another try let's just say uh, okay we want to try this with uh, Spock and logic as our password and okay great so what's happened here is that we've sent the uh, JSON object over to our server and the servers decoded it with that uh, wrapper in there doing all of his wrap things and to package it back up and as we say kapla we've got the username and password okay let's tidy things up finish things up and this kind of make this look like a real login situation okay let's go back to here and let's let's work a little bit here Okay, I think we're ready to do this and let's take a look here. So now um, we're going to make a couple quick modifications and uh, create a new little script here that adds uh, a couple features here. We're going to create a username, a password, uh, and then we're going to do a comparison. Uh, we're going to compare, we're going to use this PHP function string compare. Uh, string compare if uh, there's a match it returns a zero so we're going to use a little conditional statement here and if both our username and password match then uh, we're going to uh, have a success and um, just a note on the uh, json decode options uh, if you choose to put in the true parameter which i haven't done here uh, it will return the uh, the uh, parsed array as an associative array you know so whatever is more convenient for your purposes okay so we're going to go back and i think i named this script what i call the script uh simulate login so i need to go back and change this to simulate login and hopefully we can um, give it a swing here Gonna run it off and let's see what we get. Okay, for the highly anticipated test, we're gonna log in invalid username or password, which is not uh, unexpected because um, this what we hard coded in here is not the same as we've hard coded on our script in the server to simulate a login. So let's try Kirk and Enterprise. And uh, just for fun here, let's just say we're going to maybe make that a capital E because the test is case sensitive. So again, it's not going to work. Let's, let's try putting that in as a small E and log in successful. How about that? Kapla! Um, I just see one little note here, which I'm going to, you know, I, I don't think you need to uh, worry about this, but just for completeness, I'm going to go back and I want to kind of reinitialize our uh, our text uh, edit text here, uh, our text messaging, uh, so we don't have anything uh, poking out at us when we uh, click on our button. So we on a, on click, we're just going to say okay, we're going to reset that to to nothing, and let's give it another quick spin just to see what happens. Come back out, and hopefully we'll have a little, a little more complete app when this is all done. Um, login, okay, invalid username or password. Let's try this. Okay, and enterprise. 
and log in. Beautiful. Log in, successful, clean, useful code. Okay, what do we say about that? We are done. And as the Klingons would say, it is Majkat. Well done. And I hope you enjoyed this series. And um, uh, we'll be making some more here soon uh, as we uh, take a rest. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. And we'll see you next time.